Right peeps, let's uh, see if you can guess what turned up today. Clues in the picture right in front of you. Pretty crap game. Fridge turned up today. Um, hopefully the sodden about you've seen me previously do with the fridge box will, well, at least be useful to put this in. Don't know where I was going with that one, sorry. Anyway, I'm afraid I didn't save the uh, opening to share it with you lot because when it turned up the picture on the box is not the one I ordered so I panicked and opened the box thinking I was going to send it back. Fortunately the one in the box is the one I ordered which we shall now unbox. Special view. Get that out of the way without knocking the camera over. And there's what we've bought. The Alpical K25. Yeah, K25. The picture on the front of a K35 or a CF35. Either way, it's not the right picture on the front. So this is it. And she goes this way around. Can you see that? Took me down a little bit. We've got you on the stand today, which is precariously placed up on a couple of bits of wood. So if you suddenly hit the deck, don't worry, it's just me. There she is inside. You've got a non refrigerated section, which is where you keep your dairy, apparently. I don't know. Um, it comes with a box of things, which I'll show you in a minute. Other than that, it's got a drain plug, which you use for, well that plugs the drain. In case you have a spinach, it comes with a, a light when it's plugged in, which it will be soon, excuse my armpit. The box you get with it, you get your 12 volt cable. English or well, UK plug socket and what I assume is a 12 volt power pack which is dark brown printed on a black background let's have a look under the light see what it says can't see a thing can you see that it's ridiculous it's an output 14.5 volts which is sort of alternator output-ish. Sorry I can't get the glare off of that and have it readable. Made in China. Alpicol. We make you feel cool. I think that sticker's going to be coming off. Anyway, this is the 12 volt power cord. Um, dedicated plug for the end of the fridge. Your cigarette lighter. And the good thing about that is twist that adapter and take it off and what you're left with is a plug to fit those Elaine Lucas 10 volt sockets, the one um, 12 volt sockets, the ones you get in ambulances. So you push the adapter back on, it goes in your normal cigarette lighter in your dashboard, unplug that, and it goes. Right, I'm just going to move you so it will get car sick at the same time. So one of these, and it plugs in there. It's like a double adapter, that's quite handy because I've got four of these all. Well, this is the only one that's wired up, this is for the TV, but it's quite handy. It means I can uh, set it up. Let's get it plugged in, shall we, and see if this cable reaches. I'm going to turn you off while I do this because I'm going to be faffing about knocking stuff over and falling over stuff that's in the way. Back in a sec, peeps. Right, right, if anybody's interested. That has just taken, I started this at 15 minutes past, it's taken 13 minutes to go from 23 degrees to 2 degrees. It switched off about a minute ago, so about 12 minutes. Um, whether that's good or not, I don't know. I thought it might be relevant and or helpful to somebody, but there you go. So that's a drop of 21 degrees in 12 minutes. How's it feel inside the fridge? Surprisingly cold, not cool, but cold. 
I assume two degrees is a bit cold for a fridge, judging by the feel. To be perfectly honest, I've got no idea what a fridge should be set at. But there you go. This will be the end of this video because this is about as far as I can go until I get my uh, amp meter set up and my watt meter indoors. Um, so, 12 minutes for a 21 degree drop. Whether that's good or not, I don't know. But there you go. Tell our peeps. Right then peeps, quick update, it's been exactly 10 minutes and the temperature in the fridge has risen by 2 degrees. I was just going to, literally this clicked over to 10 minutes, I turned the camera on and it was only on 3 degrees. It is literally just as I turned the camera on, at exactly 10 minutes, popped up that extra degree. So if I'd have been 10 seconds earlier turning the camera on and noticing the time on the phone, you'd have actually seen it switch over, it's that close. So it goes up 2 degrees in 10 minutes just but this is a totally empty fridge and the hardest thing to keep cool is an empty fridge if it's full up it's actually easier to keep cool same as a freezer the more full it is so if your freezer's not full up you should put bottles of water in there and freeze them because they help keep the temperature down um, so this is not this is not exactly the ideal conditions but the fridge hasn't switched back on yet um, it's just gone over 11 minutes as I say um, when the fridge does turn back on I'll turn the camera back on let you know what temperature it's at and how long it's taken to turn back on see you in a bit okay peeps it kicks on at exactly 6 degrees so it seems to wait till it raises up 4 degrees before it turns itself back on and it was at 16.44 which was 16... 16 minutes to cool down it was on 28 uh, yeah but it's an empty fridge as I say so and it's back down to 5 degrees already it cools down really quick this fridge I've turned it down to eco as well not max um, I don't know what difference that makes it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference for the battery voltage it's 11.1 .1, 11.2 that's roughly where it dropped to before when it was cooling down um, I'll leave the video running so you can see how long it stays on for before it gets back down to 2 degrees. Anyway, so there you go. It was off for 18 minutes, back on for free. So, what's that? That's 3 times an hour. That's 9 minutes it runs for an hour. If it was full up, it wouldn't be cooling down quite so quick. So that's the next one to do is to fill it up and check it with it full up. This is pretty much of a useless video really. Mind you, most of my videos are useless because it's a crap, but you know, thanks for sticking with me. I see we're up to 170 um, subscribers, by the way. Who guessed they let that many mental patients have web access? Yeah, dear. Anyway, thanks to all those who do subscribe. Extra thanks to the ones that um, comment in the, well, the comment section, really. It's a weird comment, isn't it, really? Or in the argument section, as I like to call it, or doobly doobly do, as Ave calls it. Either way, 170 subscribers. I only thought I'd have two, and that's only because my daughter loves me loads and she's going to join up, and me mum. But another 168 of you. Oh dear. Makes you think, doesn't it? 